On this episode of It's Me or the Dog, Victoria tackles a love triangle. This is it. I draw the line. Adam kisses Zoe more than he does Lele. He even allows Zoe the best spot in bed. Are you sleeping with Auntie Lele? Layla's ready to call it quits. I am at my wit's end. Can Victoria put Adam's priorities in order? Layla has said, it's me or the dog. Are you really going to let Layla go? Or is there no room for new love in his life? Don't tell me that you're going to work on not doing it and then do it. Is this worth saving or isn't it? Victoria Stillwell has over 13 years' experience training dogs in Great Britain and the USA. Today, she's on her way to visit Layla and Adam's home to assess the situation with their two dogs, Luca and Zoe. It's important to have an understanding of your dogs as dogs and not as children. Treating dogs too much like humans can have a negative influence on their amazing dogdom. I finally was like, this is it. I draw the line. It's me or the dog. So you said that. Oh, yeah. To... Yeah, that's where we're at. I will, really? I will leave if this doesn't work. I've been very clear about that. I am at my wit's end. Either we get help for the dogs or I go. That That's it. I, I just, I'm so exhausted. These dogs have exhausted me. Zoe is literally right between them in bed at night. This oh. is us, every night. <laughs> oh. And I'm like this, all night. OK. If I'm uncomfortable and I have no room, too bad. The children are sleeping on the bed. If I get them off the bed, he calls them back up. There is no room for intimacy. There is no room for cuddling. Zoe is always my first priority when I get into bed. And that's the way Zoe and I have always been. And it's just natural for uh, Zoe and I to cuddle up uh, every night. Zoe looks very comfortable there. And she's getting all of the love and cuddles in the world. <laughs> Adam caresses and kisses Zoe more than he does Layla. She doesn't even get a look in. Zoe, come here, little baby. You sleepy? <laughs> if I come in then and say, no dogs on the bed, how would you handle that? It would be very, very difficult. It says something about a relationship when the dog is continually allowed to sleep in the middle of a couple. Now, she wants to sit down to confront the issues. Tell me, Adam, first of all, what do these dogs mean to you? I always take care of them first before I take care of myself. So they, they really are like having young children. Where does Layla fit into your family? We always refer to her as Auntie Layla with the dogs. I am told in this household, and it is made clear that I am not their mother. I think all of this is a little skewed, because you're not the dog's father. <laughs> you're not the dog's I auntie. I know. <laughs> However, it does bring up a massive point. Adam, Layla has said, it's me or the dog. She really has said it. Are you really going to be by yourself with your dogs? Are you really going to let Layla go? Well, I, you know, that's why we're here. I, I don't want to let Layla go because I love her a great deal. But, you know, th my dogs are, we're a team. We're a package. What is it like for you, Layla, to come in and have to share your bed with a dog? It's uncomfortable. Zoe gets to be the, the, the divider between the two of us. And any form of intimacy is really out. And it's, it's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. I don't like it. No. And how do you feel like, because Layla's obviously getting upset here, so, you know, what it, does that it, mean it's to something, you? It's something that we have to change. But it's, again, it's, I don't even know how to keep Zoe off of the bed. She will get back up on the bed. You've never tried to sleep with Zoe off the bed, so that's not really a fair statement. <laughs> Victoria wants to address Adam's bad habit of allowing Zoe on the bed. I have something here for Zoe, and she already got on it. She loves it. <laughs> I love a good girl. Oh, that's nice. She jumped right on it. <laughs> She's like, this is, this is, I like it here. Awesome. I want to see, Adam, if you can sleep with her on the bed here next to you. I think we can do that. 
and you can lie here hey, and you can still have that connection with her here and she can still be touching you. You can still be touching her, but she's not in the middle of you. It's fantastic. Good night. <laughs> I'm very excited about Zoe being out of the bed. It's going to be great to have a full night's sleep. And, um, and it might be nice to cuddle up to my boyfriend once in a while. Later that night, Zoe seems to be resting comfortably in her new bed. But after a few hours, Adam calls her back into bed with him. What are you doing? Zoe's on her bed, and you're calling her up to you. You are clearly not wanting this dog out of your bed. I get frustrated. Don't tell me that you're going to work on something that you're not going to work on. The next morning, Layla airs her concerns. It's your bed. Adam, I heard you call her up onto the bed at least five times last night. And I woke up at 3 in the morning with no covers because you and her had them all. Don't tell me that you're going to work on not doing it and then do it. Well, of course I want her up on the bed, but if, if it's affecting us, then she's got to sleep on this bed where she looks completely content. But do you understand that you've said that, and now you continue to ask her up on the bed every night? All I can do is try to do this with you. I told you that this is what I would try. And if it doesn't work, you already know where I stand. Looks like Adam and Layla need to put a few things right. All right, let's just have a little chat, Adam. Have you been bringing her up onto the bed, haven't you? Well, no. We define sleep as when the lights go out and the TV goes off, opposed to... And your eyes are closed. And my eyes are closed. So Zoe and I will cuddle until it's He's actually gonna time... He's going to fall asleep. Until it's, it's time to go to sleep. And then we I put her in, into bed. So, you know, that's obviously a bit too confusing for her. It so... is confusing. Is the dog allowed up on the bed? Is the dog not allowed up on the bed? And right. I like to make it black or white. Right. Yes or no. OK, be honest. Do you want Zoe on the bed or not? I, w I do want Zoe on the bed, but I would rather have Layla in the bed. Good answer. Good answer, that man. I've done the best compromise I can. Now it's up to you. You can fight it out forever. <laughs> but I think Zoe's telling you that she likes being here. I am a little surprised that Adam's not really listening to Layla, that, you know, actually, it's better that Zoe is out of the bed. I just hope in the future they can work something out. When I first came here, Layla, you really said to me, you know what, it, it's me or the dog. And you didn't trust Adam to do a lot of the training. You said that over and over again. Tell me what's the status now. Um, you know, he's put a lot of effort and, and time into it, and he's shown me a different side of him, and I see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, there's a lot of hope. So, Layla, are you staying? Yes. Good. Adam, what do you say to that? I've, I'm very happy that she's staying. You know, you really were a family that was divided, and now I feel like you've come together. Well done, guys. Bye-bye. Good luck. Thank you. See ya. Bye. This is great. Adam has worked really hard on the bed training with Zoe. I've committed myself to keeping Zoe out of the bed. It's a struggle, but we're working at it. Zoe still tries to sneak up on the bed from time to time, but for the most part, she does sleep in her bed, and she really likes it. I'm really proud of Adam because old habits are hard to break, but he's really kept up with his efforts and this has changed the whole family dynamic. I'm confident that with a bit more time and practice, Adam will learn to balance his relationship with his dogs with a happy and fulfilling relationship with Layla. <laughs> <laughs>